not even close in the legend stage. Uh, I think a lot of people were on the edge of their seats until the bitter end. Some people fell by the wayside. We've had a lot of Pickham's casualties, but congratulations if you did follow some of my picks because we managed to hit five. We could have had six, which would have been a really good outcome, all things considered, but Liquid, unfortunately, losing out against Spirit 2-1 and one in the very final game of the Legend stage. We'll quickly just gloss over a few of these results, then we'll move on to the next stage, and obviously the Champion stage is going to be super, super difficult to, to come down with. Spoiler, I think it's one of the most difficult Champion stages to predict in quite some time. So Nip, I had them down as 3-0. I did put the caveat down, though, that I wasn't completely enamored with how these guys were looking obviously alexi's not been in the squad for that long and so i thought they could definitely crash and burn but were a decent pick for the 3-0 well i never expected them to perform that badly honestly they were 0-3 and, and obviously my sprout pick was also ruined it was a double whammy from nip because their one win came at the hands of nip so that was frustrating but it is what it is phase i feel like everyone's already said what needs to be said about phase i, I don't want to kick them when they're down they had a woeful performance and we'll just move on from there Liquid, disappointing in the end against Spirit. I felt like they had a lot more in store, a lot better to show. Obviously, he got off to a really bad start against Mouse, who slaughtered them 16-2 in the very first game. And a lot, a lot of people were surprised and confused and a little bit worried, to say the least. And it seems like that was well-placed in the end. I want to talk about Furia and Mouse, though, as well. So happy for Mouse in particular. Uh, followed Dexter's journey as a pro now for quite some time in multiple different teams of have him in a lot of different tournaments over the years he's been at mouse now for quite a while and he's come under so much fire so much flack so much scrutiny over the years of saying he's not good enough he's not going to be capable of of igelling a team into the major and then he gets there and it's like well he's not going to get past the challenger stage and then he gets to legend stage and now he's at the champion stage and it's just amazing to see i'm so so happy for them also, very happy for Fury that they proved me right. I didn't expect them to 3-0, I'll say that much, but they performed fantastically well. And if you take into consideration the Challenger stage as well, they're currently 6-1 and one at this Major. So they have looked incredibly good. And whereas a lot of the other Brazilian teams choked, the situation got the better of them. Fury just seems to be going from strength to strength. But there is a caveat that we need to put into place as well when it comes to Fury, which we will get into now. However... I'm going to go ahead and pop up this picture because we did it, guys. So many people failed. So many people questioned our decisions and we came through and got the five. So the champion stage looks as such. Outsiders against Fnatic. Mouse face Cloud9. Team Spirit go up against Heroic. And finally, definitely, in my opinion, the, the pick of the bunch is Furia against Na'Vi on Brazilian soil. Now, some of these, I would say, are easier than others, but it's really when we start to get into the semi-finals and the quarter-finals that things get a lot more spicy and a little bit worrying. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to start with some of the easier ones, and then we're going to break down, for me, what is by far the hardest game, and that's going to be Fury and RV. I personally think Outsiders will take out Fnatic. Now, I want to also put in a lot of praise for Fnatic because... These guys, I didn't even think that they necessarily make it through the challenger stage, and here they are on the champion stage. Roy came out and said, listen, we've already hit our target. We want to get through the challenger stage. Now everything else is a nice, juicy bonus. And they've shown that. They're playing with a level of, of freedom. Like, there's no pressure on their shoulders. But I'm not sure when now you're in the, the quarterfinals of the major, now when you can see a potential major winning run in front of you, does that remain the case? Outsiders also... They had a bit of a rocky start as well at the beginning of this major, but they've really picked themselves up um, and are looking so, so much better right now. I think they will edge out against Fnatic. I could see it being a three-mapper. I could see it being a bit of a nail-biter, but I think Outsiders will get the upper hand. Mouse and Cloud9. This pains me to do. It really does. Because, I, honestly, if it was nearly against anyone else, I would fancy Mouse to potentially pick it up. Cloud9 completely ran rampant through the legend stage after having a bit of a shocker in the challenger stage it seems like they have finally woken up they finally started to kick themselves into gear they went through flawlessly they beat out the most legit teams pretty much at the major in terms of name power at least and mouse 
it was a really tentative and and struggle couple of best of threes once they got to that you know progression situation um their t side started to look a little bit shaky at times it took a monumental mammoth performance from dexter yesterday against ents on mirage where they started 7-1 behind keep that in mind and then dexter just decided yeah i'm gonna go god mode uh, i'm gonna carry my team kicking and screaming across the finish line and they did it this is already a remarkable result regardless of what happens here uh, for mouse and i would love to back them but i think cloud nine just looked far superior in that legend stage i still think there's a chance for mouse but not a very big one heroic and spirit now spirit for me have looked good better than i expected honestly i think i underrated these guys a little bit wonderful has looked very very good uh the rest of the team the magics etc they're, they're looking sharp but heroic have been a step above and I think this is where Heroic can kick into gear and really try and push forward. I see it being a close game again. I really do. But I think this is where I'm expecting to see Heroic show their superior ability levels, their better calling from Cadian, more experience on their team. I think this is where it's going to prevail. Now, Fury and Na'Vi, this is by far the hardest one for me to predict. And this this is an absolute nightmare to, to go into for multiple reasons. One, Na'Vi haven't looked as good as we were hoping for. They haven't quite been firing on all cylinders. Furia have looked outstanding. I mean, you can't argue with their run through the Legends stage, but what you have to say is that when you look at the teams they've played against on the progression, even going back to the RMRs, they haven't really played any top, top flight teams. Now, let me run through the teams that they have beaten to get to this point so they lost against big that was their one loss at the major so far they beat 00 nation who went out 0 and 3 they beat og they beat game and legion now these are all good teams i'm not disrespecting them at all but they're not top five kind of teams they beat ents they beat spirit again legit results and then they beat big these are all good results but they haven't played any of the top teams the top level squads that you expect to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the very best in the world so i have to put that caveat down but you can only beat what's against you it's not their fault they've done everything they could and some of those results were very one-sided that includes a couple of 16 sixes but it also does include um, a couple of ot's and very close games as well now i did go into like in depth in the map pool because i felt like this was pretty important for me to come up with who I think is going to move through here. So, Na'Vi's Instaban is Vertigo. This is a map that Fury actually do like to play. It's one of their most played maps. I believe they had eight games played in the last three months. And Fury's Instaban is Dust 2. So, when you look at that, it does suggest that this is going to go down into some shared maps. They both float the second band depending on their opponent. Most teams will do this. And so I think this is likely to come down to Nuke Mirage as our main two, and then maybe a float of like Ancient or Overpass as a third. Now, that's not guaranteed. Maybe one of the teams tries to play mind games. Maybe they have other ideas, but that's what I've got to assume. And off that basis, I think Na'Vi will actually win this game. I think they're stronger on those maps for the most part. One of the best chances, I think, for Furia is if they can somehow squeak out a Vertigo game or maybe take Na'Vi to Ancient, which they don't have the greatest stats on. However, to put in a caveat on that point, they did slaughter Bad News Eagles on Ancient earlier on at this very major 16-3. And keep in mind that Bad News Eagles looked really good on Ancient, and it's one of their stronger maps. So with all of those things put in, with all of those little bits and pieces, I think Na'Vi will edge ahead on Furia. I will say this, though. This, for me, is still a bit of a coin flip, because never underestimate the power of the crowd and never underestimate the power of Furia's heavy hitting fraggers. They could take down Na'Vi. It's absolutely possible. But I'm going to have to just edge with Na'Vi on this one. So let's go to our semi finals. Outsiders and Cloud9. Again, it's tough. But I think Cloud9, if I'm going off their recent run, if we take into account that at one stage they were pretty much dead and buried, everyone wrote them off. When it came to best of threes, this is where Cloud9 shone. They breezed through their best of three games in the challenger stage. In the legend stage, they looked like a completely reinvigorated team. 
And I think off that basis, off recent form, I've got to go with Cloud9 to win this game. Plus, I just feel like they have heavier fraggers and they're they're hitting form at the right time at the major. Heroka Navi is another tough one. It really is. But I think this is still a bit easier than the Navi Furia game. I would fancy Navi if they do beat Furia, if they take Furia down and they make them pay, I think that's going to do the world of good to their confidence. And it's going to put Navi in a position where Heroic, I don't think, will have enough to stop them. So I'm going to go for Navi. I'm going to go for a Cloud9 Navi finals. This is super, super difficult for me. Again, because if we look objectively at the performances that we've seen so far at the Major, especially in the Legend stage, Cloud9 have been far, far superior to Na'Vi. Like, it hasn't even been close. But Na'Vi have the X-Factors. Na'Vi have the experience for the most part, although Cloud9 obviously with Hobbit and the fact that they've been playing together for quite some time now have plenty of it that in their own, but do they have experience when it comes to major finals? Do they have experience when it comes to being just inches away from lifting a major trophy and cementing your place in Counter-Strike history? Hobbit does. The rest of them don't. For that reason, I think I'm going to go for Na'Vi to win this major. And I know... Even saying that out loud feels so strange, but that's what I'm going to go for. That's what my gut's telling me. I'm going to go for Na'Vi to win this major. This is tough. This is really tough. And it, You know, in, in a few days' time, I could look back on this and think, Christ, why did I pick these? But that's the nature of the pickums. It's an educated guess, a stab in the dark. My gut's got me to this point so far with some of these decisions. For my diamond, I need Na'Vi to take it all and win the major. I think they can do it, but it's not going to be easy. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below. Let me know what your picks are and what your thoughts are. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace for now. I'm not sure about this.